Hello everyone, Amp here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. In this one we're going to talk about displaying images and um, not just static images but in some cases animations or moving around how we look at the image or all that good kind of good stuff. So we're talking mainly about how you do pretty things with your visual novel. So we're going to start here. I have created an images.rpy file and I have defined a set of five images so far. The first three, which are at the bottom for some reason, are um, very simple. I've said equals this file equals this file equals this file and it will you it will look in the images folder of the game by automatically. You don't have to provide that it's the images folder. So there's that. And let's do some experimentation with these mint things here. Notice that they all have mint in the beginning. This is very important because when you use something that says that has the same name, they're treated as if they're like the same family of images and only one of them will ever be showing at once. So if you say show mint happy and then you say show mint sad later, the sad one will replace the happy one because usually if you're showing a sprite, you don't want it to have two of them on the screen at once that are the same person. You want it to change from one expression to the other in the same place. So let's see over here. I'm going to say show mint happy at left. Left is a position. Conveniently enough, it's all the way over on the left of the screen. And I'm going to put a placeholder here. And then I'm going to say show mint sad. And I'm not even going to say where, but it's going to remember where. And then I'm going to put a the end. Okay, let's run it. So here's my beginning default stuff. There's mint over there. She's on the left. And then she switched to her sad self. So see, it, it overrode it. I don't have two mints for all the thing about on the screen uh, and all that jazz. Now, if I change where she's positioned to begin with, if I get rid of this at left business and I run it again, that will automatically, by default, put her in the center. There she is. And it'll still be in the right place for that. Next up, let's talk about some transitions. I'm going to say, instead of just show mint sad, I'm going to say with dissolve. What does dissolve do? So here's the documentation page on transitions. Dissolve is a predefined transition. It says it takes 0.5 seconds to dissolve from the old to the new screen. Okay, let's see what that looks like. There she is, and there she changes. But do you see that it was an animated change? It didn't just happen immediately. So we can do things like that, like um, let's say this over here, we're going to say mint happy with another one. I'm going to look down here and there's something called ease in right. So ease in from the right side. Like that. There she comes, and there she changes. Okay. Now what if I want my ease and write to take longer? There's a couple different things you can do. You can try to make your own custom transition, which we're going to do later with something else, 
Or you can do this lovely thing that it shows you down at the bottom of the transitions page is you can change the amount of time that a transition family will take. So if I say instead of here, if I take this init python move transitions thing and I put this up here, if I put ease instead of move and I say 1.0, like oops, not 1.9, 1.0, and I run it, you can see she took quite a bit longer to get there. So you can customize even the predefined transitions to take as little or as much time as you want. And notice how it didn't change how long the dissolve took because we were just talking about the ease family when we made that change. Okay, enough about static images, even if you have funny transitions. Let's talk about this animation here. Run animation. Now, you can have GIF images. However, if you have a GIF animation image and you try to show it like that and say, if you just say like image run animation equals run zero dot gif and that was an animation it would not show it as such so usually you're going to use dot jpgs or dot pngs so i have this run zero run one one two one three one four one five one six each one lasts for 0 0.01 seconds before it moves on to the next one and this last bit is very important. This repeat here says, I want this animation to repeat. As in, I want it to keep going and going. I don't want it to just run, run once. So let's put it right here. I'm going to say show run animation at true center, which is 0.5 linear, uh, 0.5 horizontally and 0.5 vertically. Let's see what happens. There we have a nice little Sailor Mercury running. Now look at that, Mint covered her up. Well, Maybe that's the behavior you want, but maybe you want Mint to be behind the animation sprite. You ever think about that? So we're going to try doing it behind instead. Now, fortunately, this is really easy. All we have to say is behind run animation. And it will remember that for the Mint sad as well, just like it remembers the position. There's my runner. Here's Mint. She's behind it. Look at that. And when she changes to sad, she's still behind it. So that's how you get the kind of behavior you want. Now, let's talk about how we would use this last image that I made here called Julius Panning. Let's take a look at it for a bit. Okay, so it starts with zoom in Julius Anderson.png. That's just the image file that we're using. We have an X align of 0 0.5, so it's in the middle, and a Y align of negative 0 0.1. That's right, you can use negative alignments. And that means it'll be mostly off the page or off the screen. And now we say linear 5.0. And so that means it takes five seconds to linearly change from this X align, Y align, to this X align, Y align. So let's see how that works. I'm going to put show Julius panning here. And then at Afterwards, I'm going to say hide Julius, which is how you get rid of an image when you don't want it there anymore. It 
There he is. There he goes. It's a nice big image. Now, all these images that I'm using besides the Sailor Mercury one come from the Bog Visual Novel by Divine Game Studio. I will leave a link to the uh, website for the visual novel. They have a demo out. I've actually worked on this visual novel, so full disclosure. But it's pretty cool, so you should check it out. And the images are really nice, right? So there it is. All right. Let's do one more thing. Let's make a custom transition. I'm going to say define flash. I'm going to call it flash like a camera flash equals fade 0 0.1, 0 0.0, 0 0.5. Let's see. Where did I find that? Transitions. Fade takes 0 0.5 they actually have it defined right here in this there yeah color equals fff right there i'm going to just copy paste that this is a really useful transition that if you ever want to have flashing going on it looks so cool so let's say what happens is it takes 0 0.1 seconds to fade to white, which is the color right here, the hex color. It takes zero, it takes zero seconds that it holds in white, so it doesn't hold at all. And then it takes 0 0.5 seconds to go back in. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Oops, let me save it first and actually use it. So let's do our run animation with flash. So this is my custom transition. There's Julius. Now if I interrupt this, it won't finish panning. It flashed and then it has her running. So, you know, that's pretty cool looking, right? And there's mint and there's mint changing and that's all I have for you guys today. Now, there are obviously a lot of different things you can do with images. There are so many different transitions and positions and sizes and all sorts of stuff that you can do with these. So I encourage you to experiment. I encourage you to look at the documentation and ask questions and just have fun with it because you can do a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you enjoy using RenPy.